Okay, now, uh, thank you for the opening remarks. There will be remarks by, no, there will be a message of solidarity from Yash and Jill. They sent it from abroad, they're out of the country. Could you invite uh, Diane and Smith to read the message uh, of solidarity from Yash and Jill? Hi again, everybody. This is from Yash and Jill. Dear colleagues and friends, we are sad that we cannot join your gathering to celebrate the sixth anniversary of the adoption of the Constitution. It's always been a moving and enjoyable occasion for us, as we are sure for other participants. It truly represents the victory of the people led by civil society leaders and not by politicians. Our Constitution, notwithstanding some poor drafting and more unfortunately some key concessions by the Committee of Experts to political parties, is widely acknowledged to be the most interesting and transformative constitution in Africa. Several constitutions on this continent and other parts of the world have drawn on our constitution. Zimbabwe and Tanzania have copied it massively. In the former case, Zimbabwe nearly 80%. Zimbabwe has also asked for our help on how to implement such a wide-ranging and ambitious constitution whereas Tanzania's draft was, of course, strangled at birth. <laughs> While politicians and civil society in other parts of the continent try to emulate our constitution, our own politicians, particularly those attached to the government and many senior civil servants, have shown little respect for it. People praise the constitution, but do not do much to respect, much less implement it. Civil society has failed to create enough awareness of the values and strengths of the Constitution and procedures to protect and promote it. It's however easy, as we ourselves tend to do, to note the failure of government and other vested interests to respect the Constitution and the failure of the Constitution to influence state policies and practices. We all document the numerous violations of the Constitution I just add, uh, Katiba Institute is the main vehicle which they, they head, the Action Jill, uh, occupies the job of doing that to document the shortcomings. We praise the Constitution, but we do not notice or publicize its achievements in the difficult circumstances that we have passed through since its adoption. The truth is, that the Constitution has reminded people of their sovereignty and their rights, both of protection from violation by the government and their particip participation in the making and implementing its policies. For the first time since independence, the government, government cannot dare do certain things because they go against the Constitution. A number of judges have struggled to maintain the integrity of the Constitution and bravely, as never before, fought off the government in its illegality. And they have publicly chastised the government. The difficulty that the vested interests have in placing their choices as Chief Justice and members of the Supreme Court gives us an indication that we have come a long way from authoritarian regimes and their contempt for the rule of law. We hope that the gathering will reflect on how we can advance the cause of the Constitution, play a constructive role in the forthcoming elections, and reach out to the people, and to remove the sufferings of the people. Let us all commit ourselves to these causes. Yash Guy and Jill Cottrell Guy, 26th of August.